Yes, leaders need to champion that. How do they do it? Well, the leaders leaders have got a few challenges. First of all, being a leader, uh, it's a bit of a lonely space and there is nobody to, to ask for help. So as a leader to champion it, you got to do, first thing, you got to be honest with yourself and acknowledge there's a bit of humility, a lot of humility that you need to have. And that is to say, that this is a new way of working and behaving. I don't know it. And then you got to find out as a leader, what is a safe step for you to take? Because you have a lot to lose as a leader. So you don't, it's not about a leap of fate. It's not about listen to me just because I say it, you just jump in and do it. So we have to work with the leaders and see what is the step that it feels safe for them. Help them, guide them. Take them that take that step. And that step is usually about behaviors that they want to change. So it's about an additional behavior on top of what they do. It's not about stop what you're doing, we just give them another set of behaviors to do. And again, depending on the, the, the leader and the relationship that we have with the leader. So we as consultants, coaches, whatever term we want to, to use. We cannot assess whether the behavior has changed, nor can the leader. So what the leader needs to do is have a group, people who are their direct reports. In other words, people who are impacted by the behavior of the, the, the leader. Those are the people who can guide the leader and provide um, feed, feedback and feed forward, if you like, to, that, to the leader to say whether the behavior has changed aligned with what they want to do. So as a leader, you need that humility to say, well, this is what I'm going to change. These, these are the, this is the one behavior that I'm going to do differently and make that visible and transparent to the people who are directly impacted by your behavior and work with them to take steps and actions to improve. And it's for them, really, it's, it's what what you want the people who are impacted by your behavior to the people who sort of hold the mirror in front of you. So whenever you're not doing what you said, they want to come up and say, hey, hang on a minute. That's what you said you do, but you're not quite doing it that way. And that's what you want them to do. And typically, when things go wrong, this is where you see that the behavior has, has actually drifted back or shifted back to what you're comfortable with, as opposed to the new behavior.